this is not the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta, aka Vegeta Blue, or aka Vegeta Red. Red? Can I say Vegeta Red? I I, I don't know. <laughs> What's up, everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raphulus, and today we will be doing another clone review of the Legend Creation. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta. This is a fake. This is a clone. This is a China clone. This is something that you get on AliExpress for $20, and you thought, hey, is this the real deal? No, it's not, because you don't see any Bandai, no SH figure, it's no nothing. All you see is Legend Creation. KO, knockoff, whatever you want to call it, this is fake jack monkey 1609 what is up man how are you doing today we are doing well and today we're going to unbox this clone this was an astonishing 70 percent of the votes that you guys wanted to see when compared to trunks and boo so we're going to open this up we're going to see how it is and of course we're going to compare it with the real deal because i have the real deal and we're going to see how he is in comparison now so far legend creation has been doing decently well I believe the Broly was well received by everyone including myself except for the fact that it was missing some joints so enough of me talking let's get to that top cam let's see what's going on here is this thing gonna be worth the $20 that I spent and the one month that it took to get to my table because of a certain virus which we will not say the name but you know what we're gonna say it anyway it's the human malware virus the coronavirus COVID-19 this is slowing everything down. Now, a lot of people were saying, oh no, you're going to get it because it came from China. No, that that's not the case, guys. That's not the case. I did extensive research. You will not get the coronavirus by getting stuff uh, imported because it takes way too long to get to me. Anyway, so enough of me talking. Let's stop talking about that. But let's talk about other things. You can get real deal, 100% action figures that are authentic. 100% authentic action figures, I meant. At www.dstartoys.com your reliable source for awesome action figures that's right you can go there right now anyway let us go into this action figure let's see if it's worth the cost of $20 and let's look really close let's look at paint in detail first uh, we're doing alright Jack Monkey we're doing alright washing hands and everything so first things first taking this figure out of the box I noticed they said hey we really need to matte finish this guy and he is extremely matte finish my Goodness, look at all that. It's like they extra coated it really, really bad. Uh, first off, let's I noticed some really bad scrapes. Look at here. You guys can should be able to see that. It looks like the armor and the plastic was scraping uh, right here. It looks like something with the tooling just messed that up. Uh, like I said before, the paint is extremely thick to the point where the joints are having a little bit of trouble moving. But after loosening them up, it does seem like it is loosening up. Uh, yeah, the head is very nice. Uh, we do get some paint defects. Look here on the on the forehead. This is something that can easily be buffed out with some, uh, what do you call it, with a, uh, with this, a sanding stick. You can easily buff that out. You know what, we're going to do that right now. Why not? This isn't Figure Fix Friday, but we're going to do it anyway. And we're just going to buff it off. This is like a 3,000 grit type deal right here. Let's see if it can buff off. It's just some extra paint right there. And we did it as much as we could, but we're going to do that later. I don't want to focus too much on that. Paint detail looks pretty decent. It's just that I noticed there's a lot of scratches and stuff on here. This is definitely not a perfect looking figure, but so far I'd have to say it does look like Vegeta. And if you want like a battle damage Vegeta, it looks like this wouldn't be a bad start. Uh, first things first, also... Uh, if you guys can see that, I don't know if you can. I'm going to turn on some light here. Give me one second. Uh, if you look close here, it looks like there's some glue or some really bad paint apps right here on the chest. Also, they didn't even bother to paint the joint right here. That's another thing that I wanted to point out. Actually, this one's not... <laughs> This one's not painted, and this one is painted. Wow, consistency, guys. Consistency. <laughs> uh, let's see if there's any more white joints on here. No, it doesn't look like it. So, yeah, there's some really inconsistent things here, but, of course, this figure is actually going for quite a bit now because I don't think they make... Oh, actually, I do know they are not going to be distributing these anymore from Bluefin, especially with the virus going on and everything like that. Importing has been limited. Uh, 
Yeah, you're not going to be able to get the real thing for a while. I don't know if there's going to be a reissue. No one told me of a reissue from Bluefin. Uh, so, yeah, that's unfortunate. So let's see how he looks in comparison to the real deal Vegeta. And I'm going to tell you right now, the scale is a little bit smaller. If you look at the real deal, this is the real deal right here. You can tell that the muscles are definitely bigger. Uh, he's a little bit thicker. He's buffer. This one's a little bit thinner. It looks like he went on a ketogenic diet before he decided to turn Super Saiyan Blue. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we're going for a much thinner one. Definitely scaled down. That's right, Deku. He is definitely scaled down. Um, you know, some people prefer a scaled down Vegeta, but personally, I like the super buff version of the real deal rather than the fake. Um, so there you go. That's a comparison right there. Let's see if there's any difference. Obviously, there is no white joints on the shoulder on the real deal where this one does have a white one. It looks like they didn't even bother to give me the blue one. No real paint defects. Uh, obviously, the chest on the real deal isn't scratched up and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, also, I don't know if you guys can see that the paint is a tad bit a different hue. Uh, it looks like we have a more like faded gray. This one's more of a harsher gray. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I totally can. Uh, and yeah, it's just a little bit, just a little bit. I wouldn't say it's it's too much. So, mm -hmm. all right. And his arm already fell off. Yay. <laughs> uh oh, come on, Legend Creation. You're not supposed to do this to me. I, you are the chosen one. Dang it. <laughs> okay. Well. Oh boy. <laughs> mega oof indeed that I have to get some tools to work that out oh man <laughs> it, it looks like they really rushed my figure that's what it seems like it looks like they didn't bother to put even just like a five minute quality control on this guy so yeah there's the comparison right there of course we got to see how tall he's standing we're going to move right into articulation and scale let's see how tall he's standing he's standing at a little bit below six inches right there maybe six and three quarter and of course let's compare it to the real one who should be exactly six yeah i was right this one is exactly six so he is definitely scaled smaller uh so let's see how he compares with other action figures from the same line well not necessarily the same line because what we have here is a demoniacal fit uh vegeto there um, yeah, it, does, it, it seems to be working. I don't know. Let me know down there in the comments and in chat on twitch.tv forward slash dstar01. Is this, does this work for you? I think it's okay. It, it, it's, it's I, it's I. And of course we have the real deal. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Blue. We're just going to say Super Saiyan Blue. Uh, Goku. And of course he is much bigger. Definitely more to scale. This one is in comparison to this. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Um, as you can see here, this is how these two compare. These two seem like they work really well together. These two, mm, not so much. Not so much. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's move on to other action figures. Of course, we have another Demoniacal Fit here, which Demoniacal Fit got the scale down really well on their clones. That's why I highly recommend them, and I sell them at www.dstartoys.com, your reliable source for awesome action figures right now. I think we are completely sold out of this guy. But anyway, uh, as you can see, the definitely scaled smaller. It doesn't really work well, but you know what? If you're from afar and you put this in your in your like toy chest, or not toy chest, sorry, your display case, you're going to notice that maybe you won't notice a difference at all. I don't know. That's, that's my preference. I don't like my figures scaled smaller. Uh, and last but not least, we always got to compare it to Marvel Legends. Here's Marvel Legends. Uh, not yeah, Marvel Legends, Captain America. And as you can see, he's just, he's scaled much bigger. Now, this is where usually the figure breaks, even though we already have a broken arm. Let's go into articulation. We have not yep, go figure. Super hard joint right there. Uh, yeah, no difference all, bros. Yeah, his arm is broken. I could fix it, honestly, but I'll fix it probably off camera. Anyway, back to articulation. We have an up and down here at the toe that's extremely hard. That is not going anywhere. This joint is usually extremely tight on the clones. We have an up and down here at the ankle, double jointed knee right there. We have that triple joint right there, and it is not a triple joint. This is a fake triple joint. Yep, that is not the real deal. Um... Wow, they totally just cheaped out on this one. This usually has like a three-point joint right here in the crotch, as you can see. 
And they just totally avoided it and went way back to version one SH figure arts bodies. Yeah. Uh, ooh, 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 that's not good. Looks like they, uh, they just cheaped out there. <laughs> so that's the difference right there. We're finding new differences in this right off the bat. The joints are definitely not the same when compared to the real deal. So now we have the two joints here at the waist. Can you do ab crunches? Not so much. And it looks like we could, can he hug himself? Not really because he's missing an arm. This one has butterfly joints, the real deal, the fake, no butterfly joints. Just like the legend creation Broly, there is no butterfly joints. So there is a difference right there as well. We have a bicep swivel and we have two joints here at the elbow right there. And then we have a ball and peg right here for the wrist and two at the neck. Actually, no, it looks like the neck is super tight. That one's not moving. We have one at the neck looking to be below 20 points of articulation. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know if I am liking this. Uh, I mean, it looks like Vegeta, but we have a missing arm that needs to need some work. So let's move on to accessories before we come up with a conclusion. Let's go to the top cam here. Let's see what's going on here. It looks like we get some cross arms right here, which we will put on the assortment of hands, which we will always do at the end of the video as this camera shakes a lot. And we have the Super Saiyan, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it, Super Saiyan Red. <laughs> no, Super Saiyan Godhead. And of course we have two interchangeable faces. And then we are going to see how it is. Yeah, it does seem like the skin tone is just a tad off. Let's just do the real quick. Yeah, it looks like we on the real one, we have a little bit of tan shading on here and it looks like the fake is just not there. It looks like we don't get any tan shading at all. So yeah, that is a big difference right there. Thank you for pointing that out, my friend. Okay, so now we're going to put this one on. Ooh, what the heck is going on with this face? This is the angry face. And it looks like we got some really heavy marks here on the nose to show that he's grinning. I don't remember if the real one had this. Let me know down in the comments down below. It's okay. It's not awful. But of course, we got to see how it is when we put it on the real one. Can you replace parts of the real one with a fake? And the answer to that is no, absolutely not. No, you cannot put the fake with the real. And here's the big reason why the pegs on the faceplate are completely different. Um, it looks like it is just not going to fit. Uh, let me double check this. Okay. So there's the real one. That's the real one. Can you put the fake on? Uh, no, that is not going to work. As you can see, that is not a fit at all. So if you're looking for replacement parts, probably not. That is not going to happen. No siree. Oh man, that's not good. So, Ooh, not even as a replacement parts figure. This, I don't know, you can't really use the faceplate, so that kind of kills it right there for me. I usually like collecting clones just because of the fact that I can remove the parts just in case stuff gets lost or broken. That's what I've been using for figure fixes and figure fix Friday figures. So yeah, already we're, we're, we're going through a lot of negatives here, but I'm going to probably come up with AI conclusion very soon. But first, let's go into this faceplate. Yeah, and there he is yelling. This actually doesn't look half bad, actually. So there you have it. We have a yelling Vegeta face. And last but not least, we're gonna take off this extremely glossy uh, Super Saiyan God uh, head right here. And there he is with that half grim, just like the real deal. And we're gonna plug this guy in right there. And so there you have it. That's him with the Super Saiyan uh, God hair right there. And I think that's it. Uh, Gohan, what happened to the arm? It fell off right at the beginning of the video. <laughs> now, this isn't a totally bad thing. This could be easily fixed, but this is very sad for people who don't really know or have the tools to fix a figure. Hence, I have my pliers right here. So let's come up with a conclusion of this figure as I, well, you know what? I can't even put the thumb on him because like, what's the point? His arm is off. Uh, do I like this? Benji, I have to agree with you. Thick boy, eight two three. Welcome again. Always got to call you out. I'm gonna have to say, no, 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 no. I know people on YouTube are like, no, he's good. He's good. No, he's he's not. He's just not. He's nothing like the real deal. The joints aren't the same. You can't replace parts. 
I mean, if you can't get the real deal, I guess he's good. Go for it. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that has this problem. This can be easily fixed. So, you know what? It's, I'm gonna, I always say this when it comes to clone figures. It's your money. You could do whatever you want with it. You could spend it on whatever you want. But for me, I would not be getting this figure. Uh, there's one more thing we totally forgot. Is Oh, see those? See, they're cheap quality uh, joints right there. Let's see if we can remove this. See, and they're different too. Like I said, they're they're totally different. Uh, so let's move this. Let's see if we can get this on. Let's see if this can even work. Okay, so yeah, you can get cross arms on him as his face falls off. Ah! <laughs> Everyone give me a second. This figure is giving me issues. Uh... Yikes, man. So there you have him with his cross arms. I guess this looks okay if you want if you want the real deal, I say get the real deal. The real deal is 100% better. Definitely recommend this figure. Um, I don't know if you want to play inflated inflated prices on him though. That's the problem right now. You can't really find this figure anywhere anymore. Uh, but I'm pretty sure he might get a re a, a reissue. I don't know, guys. I don't like this figure. I'm just going to tell you right now. I don't like it. It has issues. Mine has issues. So that is my conclusion. And look, we even get glue, right? Or some sort of like weird looking, <laughs> weird looking paint right there. Nah, I don't think so. This is a definite no go for me. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to end this video. We're going to go into questions right after the exit video, I guess. And, uh, thanks for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And we're going to go jump into questions in just a bit. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace. So, rate, comment, and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.